Let's unpack this evening's movements with Martin Spitt, Portfolio Manager at Anchor Capital. Very good evening to you, Martin. And it's been a volatile week uh, for the local boss, much like a lot of the global markets. Uh, market uh, participants were watching closely as to the tone that the Federal Reserve would put out. Um, and it looks like it was what they were expecting, and it's not very great news, is it? No, I think the market's also starting to believe that the Fed are going to hike again. Um, I think the market was a little bit optimistic around um, rate cuts back kind of at the back end of the year. But I think you also saw very strong uh, jobs data today out of the U.S., which I think the market has got a little bit spooked by because it just means there's more room for the Fed to actually hike one, maybe two more times um, throughout the year. So I think that's what's really throwing the market off the Fed minutes. A little bit, but it's more this jobs, uh, this jobs data that came out a couple of hours ago. Mm, would you say that that's what contributed to the uh, rand weakness that we saw? I mean, it fell to 19 against the US dollar uh, during afternoon trade, and it's remained at those low levels. Yeah, absolutely. I think you've had a little bit of risk off, and you have a market or market participants that are now expecting further rate hikes in the US. And that's obviously seen the U.S. dollar being a lot stronger. So it's not really South African reasons. It's more stronger dollar than a week around, if that makes sense. Yeah. Let's take a look at uh, some. Before we do, though, I just want to quickly touch base with you on uh, the outlook for the price of Brent crude. We heard uh, some of the big producers of Brent are coming out with production cuts um, that affecting the price of oil. That certainly not having a good impact combined with a week around for net importers uh, of uh, oil like South Africa. Yeah, absolutely. I think you've seen Brent being lower for longer this year, and I think that's been a kind of key thing that's been driving markets. But we think that Brent might pick its head up a little bit. Just obviously also depends on how we are from a recessionary perspective in the U.S., demand and the like. But I think from here you might see a slightly elevated Brent crude oil number. Mm. Let's speak about some company updates now. We've got Attack. They're announcing the uh, partnership with the, um, with the government pension fund for an investment into the waterfall city that they're building. Uh, your thoughts on this? I mean, the property space in general has struggled, even though it is making somewhat of a recovery. Uh, but this is an important step for uh, an Attack in this instance. No, absolutely. It's definitely an important um, bit of news. Look, it has been relatively known to the market that this deal is going to happen for the last six months or so. You've seen a slight adjustment to the price, but nothing material. But very positive for them. Um, it's not going to pay down some of their debt. Their LTV is going to go lower. Also means they've got some more funding now to develop that waterfall node a bit more. So we think very, very positive for attack shareholders. And, and we still like the share. We've got a buy recommendation on it. But overall, yeah, very good piece of news that uh, will hopefully get fully finalized in a couple in, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then just uh, maybe a final thought from you, Martin, if you will. Uh, just an outlook, a medium-term outlook on the sector. We have had uh, some company updates out showing some improvements, uh, but still a little bit of jittery when it comes to stability uh, because of the economic climate, one would say. Uh, but your view on the property space at the moment um, and what the uh, listed companies are showing when it comes to their operations here. Yeah, so I mean, as we know, not all uh, property stocks are made the same. So I think you've got to be very selective about which ones you go into. Like you said, you've got some proper GDP headwinds. You've also got interest rates um, kind of picking their head up in South Africa. So again, it is a bit tricky, but certain stocks with offshore exposure um, are probably the ones you need to look for. And you also need to look for ones that are giving you a very decent yield. And there are opportunities out there, but I think being selective and Finding ones where you can get a good deal, I think, is the right thing to do. And I think attack is definitely one of those. No, thank you very much, uh, Martin Smith, uh, for that uh, update. Uh, he's a portfolio manager at Anchor Capital joining us uh, to wrap up uh, the market day that was today.